Milwaukee police are investigating a series of car break-ins near the Intermodal Station downtown. Pete Zervakis is live there tonight after speaking with some people whose cars were busted into. Pete? Police won't give us an exact number on how many cars were hit, just saying it was, quote, dozens and that they are still investigating. Take a look at these photos. The owner of this vehicle says he returned to this parking lot next to the Intermodal Station on St. Paul to find his car window smashed in. Someone rifled through it and took a pair of sunglasses. There were like 25 cars that were punched out. Nancy's car was targeted too. Vandals smashed three of her SUV's windows while it was parked in this area over the Thanksgiving weekend. I was just flabbergasted. She says nothing was taken. According to police, Nancy's vehicle was one of more than a dozen damaged and items were stolen from some of them. My level of concern is, is raised. Wendell and Judith Johnson are parking in the same area before catching a train to Chicago for a few days. They say they're locking their vehicle and making sure Sure nothing's visible inside. Both are common tips from police, but the recent vandalism worries them. I'm not going to cancel my plans or anything, but I'm hoping that they really ramp up their security and, and just watch carefully. Now, the Intermodal Station building is owned by the Wisconsin DOT. Building security is now considering upping foot patrols in this area to keep an eye on things. In the meantime, the parking lots where that vandalism happened are owned by private companies. At least one of those lots has a sign up saying drivers park there at their own risk. Live at 6 in St. Paul, Pete Cervakis, today's TMJ4. Unfortunately.